welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to import files using laravel excel so let's get started the first thing we want to do is to install laravel by using the command prompt so let's head over to go to the directory of in my case it's on the D drive Ishidox so I always install my Laravel app here in Ishidox for the sake of accessibility so let's install the Laravel app using this command after successfully installing the laravel we will now check if the laravel is installed properly by running the php artisan command so let's over and try serve so as you can see if you access to the local host 8000 so here's the default page of the laravel the next thing we want to do now is to configure our database so here you will set the database name of whatever you want to call it so in my case laravel import the username is root password is none because I'm working on my local machine the next thing we want to do now is to install the Laravel Excel package by going to the Laravel Excel official page. So let's over to Google Chrome. And for the sake of this tutorial, I will enter the Google Laravel Excel. And here you, you click the second link laravelexcel.com. You go to documentation and installation here you will find the requirements of this laravel excel so you have you need to have php 7.0 or up laravel 5.5 up spreadsheet 5.6 up and other php extension libraries so here we see the installation part so this Install the tutorial says require this package in the composer JSON, but we will use the composer to automatically install it. So let's over copy paste this and copy this to the terminal. In my case, I'm using the Visual Studio Code built in terminal. Let's try to run it. So if you see the composer JSON is been updated, uh, it is installing the Laravel Excel successfully. So here it's updating the dependencies. So let's just wait for it to install. After installing the Laravel Excel, we will now need to migrate our uh, users table which is auto generated by the laravel so as you can see here we have create users table we will use this to import data in our um, database so here we have three fields that is needed so we have name email and password for the sake of simplicity so we will need only to have three fields so let's try to run HP artisan migrate. As you can see, it's it has been successfully migrated. So you can check your database if it is now migrated. So let's see here. After the migration, we will now create a route for the import view so let's head over to the routes 
and click on the web.php so now we will create a new route in my case so um, import users import users so before I specify the controller uh, we need to create or generate a new controller by using the command php artisan make controller um, import controller so as you can see in the app http controllers it has been created so let's now create a import controller um, view import users the next thing we want to do is to create a function here in the controller which is here then we will return view uh, import user now after we create the function here we will now go to the resources views and create a new blade file name import user to blade at php so let's create an html pipe here we create html pipe change the title to import user and let's just head over and create a form so here we have form we have input type we have label import users so we will create a input type file which accepts the file excel file input type file in add the method post so later we will go add a route for the importing the users after creating the HTML component for the import users we will now um, create a import class using the Laravel Excel package so Laravel make it easy to create a class by using the make import command so let's head over to the command interface and run this command php artisan make import um, specify the file name so users import and dash m users so dash m uh, notation means it will use the users model so let's uh, try to run it model name contains valid characters oh I think it's users not user not users let's try again let me just see um, I think it's model instead of m dash m there you go so you need to indicate double dash double dash then model equals to user so let's refresh our workspace so as you can see it creates a model of uh, folder imports so here you see the user import so the next thing we want to do now is to specify the columns and the value 
coming from our controller we will create later so here we create the email so email um, what do we have uh, we have the name road name the password so here we will indicate the hash make so here we tell the, the password string will be encrypted using the Laravel hash library so password right the next thing you wanna do now is to create additional um, route for the actual import importing of the data so here we will create a new route so we will use it as a post so I will name it import so you can name it whatever you want but you, you need be sure to uh, sync it to the form 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 route action so later we will do that so here get import controller then I'll name it import function import controller at import function so let's over head over to the import controller and make the function public function import so here we need to um, include the Excel class we need to import our Excel class at the same time the imports that we created so app uh, HTTP imports then the name of the import user import I also forgot to mention that we need to import the math class library so here just copy paste the following code so yeah the next thing we wanna do now is to um, create a function so here we have function already we will now create a logic for handling the import data import here we get request and um, we create this excel that import new user import then we get the file request and file the name of the file in my case here file then we need to also return the function so turn back the second the last thing we want to do now is to create an action form action which is it will redirect to the route with the name of import which in our case we created earlier here in the post method so import so it will execute the import function that we created here in the control import controller and we o I also specify the end type because we were up we were uploading files in our form so here I indicate multi-part form data it enables the form to read the file input type lastly we want to create HTML element submit 
so it is self-explanatory so let's see head over to import users hmm. import not defined route I see I think we need to clear our routes or optimize clear okay oh we need to stop I guess then run php artisan optimize clear again to clear the catch and routes hmm import let me I see we need to name our import route so we add the name import and let's refresh the page again here so the last step the last step we want to do now is we want to do now is to create an excel blank word group then we create a dummy data so in this case i will create a dummy data so i made a small modification in the user's import in instead of trying to access it in the object type i uh, change it to array type so here we access the access it the data by using the row um, access key name so in this case email name password so now let's try to let's see um, port method post let's try to submit it um, import users again so I created the dummy data just to show you here's the dummy data and let's import undefined email index I guess we need to change again to index so let's go over to change it to none refresh again import the data so let's check if it is loaded there you go so as you can see it is already uploaded in the database of the users if you like this tutorial if this is helpful please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can not you'll get notified by the youtube when i upload new tutorial Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.